y'all, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Modded Minecraft Enigmatica 2. I've planted some corn down here because I am getting ready to make a tasty, tasty popcorn tree. I know you guys all love popcorn, right? I finally added a little slab so I can stop falling in my water hole. I put up a basic little... Um, a sugarcane farm over here, and I've been doing some more decoration up here in the treehouse. I've got the roof finished over the kitchen area. Have not extended it out that way yet, but I'll get to that. I've also got to figure out something to do with my little bedroom area. But for now, let's make some tasty, tasty food. This is going to be for the quest under beating starvation. Oh, and I'm forgot to um to claim my reward from the sushi so let's go ahead and do that before I forget I'm gonna take the salmon I guess thanks and now I'm gonna do movie night that's what I need the popcorn for and a cola soda I've gathered all the materials I need for that so popcorn yummy 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 and cola soda Pretty easy to make that's just bubbly water which is also easy to make it's just water and a pot uh, sugar and a spice leaf and there we go what kind of prize am I getting for this do I get to choose a pear or sugar I choose a pear oh I get them both get them both yeah good even better alrighty I'm going to put that in there for now. Maybe I'll take it out in case I get hungry. And I'm not sure if I have any pears yet. So I'm just going to pop them down here in the little storage crate where I keep my tree fruits. Yeah, I did have some. That's okay. It's all good. Okay, so that's some of the stuff that I've been doing off camera. I also finished up the um, little simple Teaker's Construct quests down these branches making some parts for a sword and some different uh, templates and things and I did the one about uh, leaky drains where you make some faucets and some drains for your smeltery. I did the glass one. These quests were kind of tedious but that's okay because mm -hmm. loot crates for days and I saved them to open with you guys. What did I get? Ooh, invites. Those are nice. Um, black concrete wide bricks. Okay. Can use those to decorate around this area here. And here's some of that stuff that I can't pronounce that you eat when you go to the Arctic. Here's some extreme chili. That's what I'm talking about. And one more. Ooh, that's pretty. Redstone glass. Okie dokie. Good times. Good times. What are we on to next? Next, I am going to work on something that there's not a quest for. I want to build a Tinker's Construct uh, parts chest to hold some of these random tool parts I've got piling up over here. Uh, for that, I know I need a regular chest. And let's look up the recipe real quick. Part chest. Yeah, there we go. It needs a regular chest, pattern sticks, and wood planks. Okay, got some extra patterns over here. Sticks. No, no sticks. Huh. All right, I've got sticks now. And there's a nice, lovely parts chest. I'm going to put it right over here. And then I can stick some of this stuff in that I've made. Oh, that should give it okay, and that'll save me a little storage room in that chest there. Yep, okay. Good times, good times. And now, I'm going to get back to the quest book itself and work on, um, first I'm going to build a tool forge. And then I'm going to work on getting started on some of the casting stuff. Now, for the tool forge, which is what you use to make your bigger tools, it's, it's an upgrade of the tool station. 
and I need three of those, the tool station itself, and four blocks of iron. Now, I'm going to put it right back down there, and you see now I have options to make the bigger tools, like my favorite, the hammer, and my other favorite, the excavator. Actually, I just get really excited about all the big tools because they're pretty awesome. So, let me claim my reward from that. Another loot chest. Good times. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Yes, a rail gun. Oh, yeah. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Okay. Oh, I'm going to shoot all the things. But, um, first I need to get a grip of myself and calm down. I got overexcited about the real gun. Okay, what was I going to do? Casting. Right. I need to make some casts. I've already put the gold in my smeltery. Of course, you can make, um, clay casts in this mud pack, but they burn up after one use, so I usually don't bother. I, I've got plenty of gold, so we're going to use gold. I need a pickaxe head cast, binding, and a tool rod for the first step. So I need to pop down here and grab some cobble that I can use to make the shapes for the cast. There's a lot my planks went. Okay, I need a pickaxe, stone, and a, what did I say? Binding, right? Yeah, binding and a tool rod. Okay. There's the binding. Nope, there's the tool rod. Whatever. Whatever. There we go. There's the binding. Okay. And we'll start by plunking the pickaxe down there in the casting table. Let me make sure I don't have anything under that. No, it's all gold. And I'll just run that out. As soon as it's done, there is my cast. So I have a bunch to make to do this next section. I'm going to go ahead and make one, make all of these actually off camera because that's a little dull for you guys to watch. And then I'll come back and we're going to get some work done on the furnace. Alrighty, I'll see you soon. Okay, I have made all of these casts and I'm just going to pop that piece of iron in there because one of the next things I need to do is move on to making some sharpening kits. So while that iron is melting, let's collect some loot from the loot chests I got from making all those casts. Factory blocks, large pipes. That's pretty nice. Okay. Ooh, some more iron lanterns. Those are pretty. Thick and bordered glass. Okay, that's nice. Oh, those are so pretty. Nether brick, stone lava brick. Uh, some moth stone. Okay, and I've got one more. Thought I had one more? Nope, guess that's it. All right, well, that's some nice, pretty kind of stuff there. I'm pleased to have that. Um, you can see that. I've marked all those complete. Ooh, I forgot to claim my reward from this one. Excellent. One more bit of loot. Lowestone! Aw, oh, nice. It's really pretty. It makes me happy. Okay, is that everything I need to grab there? Yeah, okay. Now I'm making some sharpening kits. This is one iron ore in the smeltery. It gives you exactly enough to make two ingots or one iron sharpening kit. And this, of course, is the basic way that you get started upgrading your tools. For the next step, and you can, um, well, in, in this situation, I do not want to skip ahead because I'm doing a quest pack and it's not always good to skip ahead. I'm going to need four pieces of coal and one more iron ore to make steel. That's going to take a minute to melt. So while that is going on, I'm going to come over here to my tool forge and put a little flinty up there with a piece of flint and the iron sharpening kit. And you see that, well, let me take this away. A little flinty right now has a durability of 54, mining level of iron. If we put the iron sharpening kit up there, his mining level goes up to diamond. It does not affect the durability, but it raises you a mining level. And when this melts, 
we're going to bump them up using the steel kit. Uh, again, I'm not trying to, um, to skip ahead because the quest requires each separate kit. So I don't want to bust a move and get right on up to, to steel. Um, go ahead and see what kind of loot I got from that baby. Anti-block limes. Okay, I've never really messed with that before, but looks pretty cool. Ah, there's my steel in there. Uh, and again, it's one iron ore plus four pieces of coal, which would give you two steel ingots or one steel sharpening kit. Back up here to Ye Olde Tool Forge, little flinty is now going to have a mining level of obsidian. <coughs> And now that he does, I'm going to go get some obsidian, which I haven't done yet. So I'm going to cut and I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, I've got some obsidian melted in my smeltery and I'm honestly just standing here admiring it because it looks so pretty. Uh, this is like the iron ore. One block will get you two ingots or enough liquid obsidian, molten obsidian to make a sharpening kit. And actually my pickaxe little flinty broke before I could get more than six blocks. So not going to build another portal or anything at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and repair him in the tool forge using some flint. Then I'm going to add the obsidian, obsidian sharpening kit, which is going to bring the mining level up to cobalt, baby, cobalt. Yes, and I'm going to go ahead while I'm in here and add some modifiers. He's got space for three, and I'm going to start with a diamond. At a lower level, it would add uh, a mining level. At this high level, it's not going to, but I'm after it for the increase in durability. You see, we're going to go from 54 durability to 554. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm going to go ahead and put on some redstone. That's going to increase the mining speed from 5.5 to 12.07 for, you saw I put a whole stack on there and there were 14 left over. I don't have a lot of lapis. I'm thinking maybe I should save some. Nah, I'm not going to bother saving any. I'm going to stick 25 on there and see what that's going to do for me in terms of luck. Oh, it says at the bottom. Um, let me take that off. Okay, at the bottom here, under traits, you see the haste is, cursor, mouse, the haste is from the, um, the redstone. Now I'm going to put this lapis on here, and I'm going to have luck 25 out of 60. Okay, so now I've got a much improved tool, and the best part is it's still repairable with flint, which is a pretty common substance to find. You don't have to break the bank for that. So, let's have a look. Oh, let's claim some loot. What am I talking about? Uh, steel sharpening kit did, and I did the obsidian sharpening kit. Good. Gimme, 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 gimme. What am I going to get? Cheddar and sour cream potato chips. Oh, I wish I had some of those in real life. And a framing table. Oh, that's nice. That helps you make um, little decorative bits on your storage drawers, which I'm going to probably make some pretty soon because I want to organize my storage area. I get kind of nuts when my storage isn't organized, and I'm no way near as ready to start doing something with AE or Indrive or anything like that. So we're going to go storage drawers for a little while just to get me started. All right, so... Coming up in our next episode, I'm going to... Oh, no, wait. You know what? Let's build a furnace. I said let's build a furnace, and we've got time, so let's get it done today. I'm going to need some more bricks, and I'm going to need some more space in my inventory. So let's just... Didn't I say I like to be organized, and now I'm just randomly shoving this stuff in? Mm-hmm. That's all right. And I've decided that I want to put my tank over here. So when I get ready to automate it, if I decide to do that, I can run the pipes and things under here. And I believe I'll put my furnace like, that looks like a good spot right there. I've got the oven 
from uh, cooking for blockheads upstairs in the treehouse. And that's going to be great for cooking food. It cooks foods like stacks at a time and really quickly. But it'll be good to have the furnace over here for quickly cooking up stuff like clay into bricks or sand into glass. Never dig straight down in Minecraft, guys. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, I'm going to need nine seared bricks to make the bottom of the furnace. And then I'm going to need, let's see, I should have enough seared bricks. Let's go ahead and make all of those. Well, you know what? Let's do it this way. I'm going to need another tank for lava. That's the same recipe we used before for the smeltery. And I'm going to need a furnace controller. Shower furnace. Furnace controller. And those are the only special blocks I'm going to need. So oh, I don't have any cobble over here. So I'll go ahead and just make the rest of that into bricks. I can use them on the tank in a few minutes. Right, furnace, controller, and a bunch of bricks, and a bunch more bricks. And let's make a few of them, maybe about that many, into slabs. Yeah, that ought to do us for now. All right, so we've got a three by three um, base, floor, whatever. And I want that to not be there. I'm going to put my tank there and my furnace controller there. And then need another layer here. Shift click. And then I'm going to put one more layer here. All right. And I always forget if I have to have one there or not. Okay, I may have to put it back in. But let's just make a roof out of these slabs. And nope, it looks like it's going to be working. Let me grab some lava out of here. And some clay. So we can test the speed on this baby. Two buckets of lava for now. Well, oh, let's put them all in. What the heck? Very carefully not setting myself on fire. Okay, pop some clay in. And it's cooking up pretty quickly. 16 at a time. I'm going to have a whole lot of bricks. There's the furnace. I'm going to go ahead and put some sand in too. What the heck? I've never tried mixing and matching like this before. I think I'll come over here and do a little decorating up in the treehouse while I wait on that to cook up so I can see if it's going to um, work with both items in there. You guys are helping me experiment. We are learning together. And that was really all I had planned for this episode, so once we satisfy my curiosity there, I'll go ahead and log off. In the next episode, I want to start working on a magic mod because the next tech mod coming up is going to be Mechanism, which is divided into two parts. Then it's Magic, 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 and then Forestry, which is like, you know, it's got a lot to do with nature, even though it's a tech mod. And then we get back to tech, 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 tech. So I want to kind of break it up a little bit. And Roots is just one of my favorite mods. I just, I love it. And you can get some really cool spells for combat and some fun utility spells. And I'm, I just love it. I don't have a standing circle anywhere around here though. So I'm going to have to figure out a place to do the Roots mod because you need to have the special locations to get started. I did find the, some of the, um, the structures when I was out exploring, so I have all the books and things I need. That's not going to be a problem. Let's see what's going on in the old furnace over here. Ooh, here we go. Our experiment is about to conclude. 
Tick tock, tick tock. Come on, Clay. Yeah, cool. So there are the bricks. And. Come on. Sand. Sand. Glass. Come on, furniture. You're making me sound like an idiot here. There we go. Okay, that's nice. I'm glad I was able to learn something today. And hopefully, you guys learned something too. If you enjoyed learning about the furnace with me, uh, or anything else about this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out a lot. And I will see all of you guys next time. Bye-bye.